making a video. Different camera. Sorry about the focal length. <laughs> but anyway, doesn't matter. Alright, video. Uh, kind of a personal subject, so don't bother. No, but there'll be philosophy in here, but it's mostly just, I guess, psychology. And um, just the, the way people are. Just how scuzzy they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, this whole argue some kind of personal character issue instead of the argument somebody's making. And, it, you know, I, you know it's, it's, it's just one of these fallacious, fallacy kind of things um, where you concern yourself with the messenger at all, whether the messenger's a hypocrite, whether, who cares? Somebody either's making a point that's valid or they're not. You deal with the argument again. Um, I'm not saying this to rationalize any hypocrisy. I don't think I've ever been a hypocrite. Um, and so I think it's a false accusation, but it's an irrelevant one regardless. Let's say if I was a meat eater, ate steak every day. It doesn't change the validity of the arguments I make in defense of the animals being tortured. It doesn't change it any. Um, and clearly I'm not. And, uh, so anyway, so, so, uh, you know, and then other people, you know, they've been getting into my personal business about, you know, being on, the, the, I, I get a social security check. I paid into social security. It's insurance. I have a diagnosed, uh, anxiety disorder. And regardless of the diagnosis, I mean, just these, these people, they imply that you're a liar or a cheater or a fake, um, and I really don't want to make videos about my personal life and what it's been like. But it's amazing, from my own perspective, that I'm still here. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the kind of disorder that makes your life miserable and very unpleasant. And, um, you know, and these people, they not only, they only challenge your credibility, your honesty. Then they, if they were to say you were honest, they'll challenge your courage or they'll challenge the reality of the condition as if there's no such disorder, as if there's no such thing as, say, for example, vertigo. Because I've, had, you know, I've experienced vertigo in the last few years and I found it very interesting because it has the same kind of um, nature to it as the anxiety disorder. The anxiety disorder would be this, you know, intense nausea, uh, You know, gotta go, gotta go throw up, <laughs> you know, gotta, gotta, you know, um, and obviously the situations where you're just not going to, if you feel nauseous, you're not going to stay in the middle of a building somewhere, you're going to try to get somewhere to a door you can throw up outside, you know, that kind of thing, just common sense, courtesy, you know, you're, if you're working in a restaurant, you don't throw up on the floor, so, you know, while everybody's eating their dinner, <laughs> it's kind of courtesy, you know, um, so it's very awkward to try to live with a condition like that. And, but vertigo is very much the same thing because you, you, it's just this visualization. Your eyes see something, and that's all that's happening. Your eyes are seeing it. And somehow, your brain turns that into a disabling, crippling panic. And, and when you have it, it, you know, it just surprises you because you know, you're clinging to a ladder for dear life that usually you could run up and down without ever thinking about it. I mean, I, I did a lot of roofing. I've done, you know, I've, as a kid, I used to s climb trees just to, you know, go back and forth in the tree. I loved it. Um, loved the Grand Canyon. I walked the rail, you know, the guardrail at the Grand Canyon. You know, at the famous hotel they have there, a little gift shop. <laughs> uh, there's a nice metal rail right hanging over the, you know, and I walked on that rail. Um, you know, I had no problem with heights at all. So it's just such a weird thing to have that happen. And then to have somebody mock that and ridicule it and dis disregard it. And, you know, in some sense, like, I'm supposed to now prove the existence of the condition, like, worldwide, that it actually exists. Prove that here's doctors testifying that they've had patients that have these conditions, that they've committed suicide because of these conditions. 
you know, to have to demonstrate in some way, and then I'd still have to prove that somehow I actually had the condition. And for what? For some troll on the internet? And that's all these people are. They're just malicious, evil, nasty, fucking trolls. And nobody punishes them. So we're back to the reward and punishment argument that you don't reward people for falling out of vaginas. You don't punish people for falling out of vaginas in the wrong place. The idea is to use reward and punishment to create productive, um, socially beneficial behavior. And we're not doing that as a society, and that's why we don't have something called a good civilization. It's because we don't know how to effectively use rewards and punishments. We're rewarding people for being assholes, celebrities, um, fundamentally. And rewarding people for falling out of vaginas, which is quite ludicrous. And punishing them likewise. Um, so... It's a very powerful tool, reward and punishment, and um, we've squandered it for no good reason whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, separate subject. But again, the trolls aren't punished. They aren't uh, in any way deterred in their behavior. They use these negative attacks, uh, force the person on the defense, they force them to defend their lives. Um, rather than make an actual argument. And they're just the most despicable creeps. And, you know, um, and they do it in this obnoxious way where I haven't invited their participation. I didn't click on their video. I didn't click on their channel to go see what they're up to. They've come here to shit. <laughs> you know, they're just rude fuckers. I don't do that on the internet. I don't anonymously do anything on the internet. Um, anyway, and, and then they claim it's because, well, I, I have a, a position to protect. I, I'm, a, I'm a real human and I have to protect myself. <laughs> you know, and you can't understand that. Yeah, right. I, I live in a town that's so Republican, I only need four signatures to get on the ballot as a Democrat. Um, four. Um, anyway, you know, I've done things, you know, I've said things about the cops. That, you, know, you know, I've put myself at plenty of risk for purpose and principle. And if you're not willing to do that, then you really shouldn't take advantage of the fact that you're not willing to play the game the way the game has to be played. I mean, if you can't play, okay, you can't play. You're disabled. You're crippled because you have a job. You, then you don't play this game. Because if you can't play it fair, you shouldn't play it. If you can't understand that, then, as I've pointed out, it's because you're an imbecile. And so I've accurately described you. You're fucking jar-headed, stupid motherfuckers. But you can't figure out that you're rude, and petty, and malicious, and that your arguments suck, and that you suck. <laughs> so, honey. This is all getting to gray text, right? This is the suck. But anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I was in the illusions exist room. Alright. So the subject's going to be like vanity and narcissism. Which I don't mind being, you know, somebody can call me a narcissist. Um, but not in the, not if that, you know, my definition of narcissist is, is that somebody who is, um, in, uh, believes themselves to be privileged, believes themselves to deserve better than everybody else, deserves themselves to be so superior that now I am entitled to something. I'm not that kind of narcissist, quite obviously. I would give my seat on the bus to almost anybody who looked like they needed it more than me. That's all they have to do. Um, there's no evidence of me being a selfish person or taking the biggest piece of the cake or the pie or doing any of that shit, so that would be a false and slanderous accusation to call me a narcissist in any sense like that. So there's the vanity portion of narcissism. Okay. Um, I might accept that. Um, but who am I supposed to like more than me? Say if I like myself. Am I supposed to like somebody else? And who, who do you suggest I like more than me? Who's cooler than me? Who's the better me than me? Who, who's the better drawing of a human being than me that I should woo, want to rub and get close to. 
<laughs> Who? I, I'm so, you know, I'm game. Um, but frankly, I have my own sensibilities, so, you know, if your, your answer is Oprah or something, well, it just ain't going to work for me. Anyway, so just in the context of this, so, so here's this Piro room. And it's kind of funny, they've got 808 views, you know, which is much higher than the other. And he's got some, they've got 300 or 400, so the, some of them aren't too bad. Um, but yeah, it is double, because they mend them on the icon, right? So it somehow matters. Now, that, I could say, ooh, er. so I could, I could feel some vein points for that, right, or something, but, you know, that really doesn't mean much. I mean, that's not much of a difference, you know, it's not like that. It's 10,000 more views or something. Um, but should I not feel good? Let's say that if, if, if it mattered, that if, if more people showed up because I was there, because they found me interesting, I shouldn't feel good about that? I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with feeling good about that. Of course, I'll be right. Why would you? Okay, so, you know, it looked pretty good. Now. You know, the icon was, you know, not an unattractive icon either. So anyway, gray text. So he writes this comment. Gary actually has a portrait of himself on his mantle. Just too much narcissism. So no, gray text is, you know, I mean, he shouldn't even talk about psychiatric disorders or conditions. <laughs> you know, he's, uh, you know, pretending to be a woman on the weekends um, and not like, a real woman. Like, he doesn't have the courage to say, I feel like a woman. That should be all that's enough. I mean, instead he does the fake woman things, which is the makeup and the lipstick and the fake boobs and the fake, the fakeness of being woman, rather than just saying, I'm woman, and having the courage to do it that way. Right? And so who's playing the psychiatric games? Uh, you haven't seen the altar? I don't even know what that means, but I certainly concede I would have one. <laughs> you know, I, 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 um, all right, but, so, so this is the, 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 the drawing, okay? It's done by an old fan, all right? She did this etching. It's an etching. So, yeah, it's somebody else's art I have on my mantle. Now, I have over here... I mean, I have all kinds of stuff, and some of it, you know, you just want to be able to see. <laughs> you know, I have a lion, and I have a cat, and a puffin, and I have a chick, and a whatever. Uh, and I have, I mean, this thing's like 20 years old, made out of old Playboy pictures or some kind of magazine. You know, figure art, nudies, kind of good stuff. Um, what does that make me? <laughs> you know, this is, this is, uh, maybe some kind of ist or ert or something. There's a lion there, a butterfly. What does that make? I mean, what does that mean? Uh, I, I mean, come on, you're going to do your psycho a psychiatric analysis. Doesn't it mean something? Now, over here, I do have a piece of art of myself. You know, we won't, we won't go down there. Uh, um, but, you know, it gets lit. You know, it's interesting. Um, this girl thing. Does that make me a narcissist? Of course. Yeah, my father when he was a kid. I, I'm just saying so I'm, but I'm not like to, I, I'm not allowed to see myself as a form of art. And any artist who does a self-portrait is a narcissist. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, but the truth is, like I said, I wouldn't use the word narcissist. But if you want to say that I'm egotistical or vain, that I like who I am, that I'm glad I'm me and not you, that I think I'm prettier than you, smarter than you, smell better than you, that I just happen to be a rather good configuration. If I had to be human, whew, I'm glad I was me and not you. Does that make me evil? Um, <laughs> that's completely irrational of me. And you, you have the book of what's the right 
like you have the evidence that I'm somehow not a pretty kick-ass form of human. I mean, you have something to compare me to that demonstrates that I'm just not worth it. I'm a piece of shit. By comparison to you cool people that I should think are really beautiful. Because, you know, I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't think you're pretty great, Tex. I, yeah, you're, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry you are just happened to be born ugly and then you did nothing with it. I mean, you didn't take care of yourself physically, so you came out pudgy and dumpy. That's my fault. I mean, I mean, the fact that my body's still in good shape is because I make it that way. I mean, it's not convenient. You have to do a little work to keep it. So I'm wrong to do that. I'm wrong to have my own self-image mean something important to me. Like, I don't want to be gross. <laughs> you know, if, if, if I'm with somebody, I want them to find me attractive. That's irrational. Nonsensical. Silly. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't know what to say about that. Um, so, you know, so anyway, so the funny part is, right, so here we have this comment. Gary actually has a portrait of himself on his mantle. Just too much narcissism. So again, like I said, somebody else's piece of art. I don't see anything narcissistic in it. It's not even, it's such a, um, it's not an exaggeration. I, I mean, you know, I mean, this is me. But frankly, you wouldn't be able to tell that was me. Just looking at it. That was unfortunate. Um, you know, these people are such a pain in the ass. <laughs> you know, um, it says the chair leg's broken, so the chair leg leaned the chair over, which forced me to push the mantle over, which just created a tragedy. Um, it's not all that, you know, it's not like it's, uh, something, um, entirely, um, self-glorifying about that image. Um, you know, it's a piece of, um creative uh, blah blah you know and in my opinion um, you know I, I find it uh, sorry let's see if my clock is okay yeah it's arrived anyway um sorry I'm narcissistically not properly <laughs> yeah there's a lot going on in here that just I have to be careful where the camera goes because there is stuff that just can't be uh not for public consumption, as they say. Um, well, that's, you know, uh, I just said anyway. I don't know if this is still working. Ugh, everything has to be put in its place again, you see. It's, it's, it's a very delicate balance. <laughs> I said all week, i got to fix this, because this is not a good arrangement. You know, I have the pad leaning against the clock and the clock holds the thing. yeah it's just not a good arrangement so anyway so on the on the website somebody left a comment um you know I'll, I'll go find that yeah here we go the safe one uh so uh so here's the comment right uh, i should read spends trillions and you know, i spends you have billions of dollars to make good in the world and then to cam from the trillions that the U.S. spends. Uh, these people are just so incoherent. And the military industrial complex wrote Sanders. Now, fuck you. Um, I don't think Gary actually drew. Oops, wrong, wrong comment. One brother. All right, why did you draw a picture of yourself? So the assumption is that I drew it. And why, and if I did, you're, you're saying, so So every time an artist does a self-portrait, you say, you would go up to them and say, why did you do that? It's disgusting. And why do you have it displayed in your house? So if it was an artist and he did a self-portrait and he hung it on the wall, that would make him even more disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Narcissistic much? Question mark. So again, if, if you don't dislike the way you look, um, 
um, you're bad. There's something bad about you. And if you actually like the way you look, now you're really bad. Uh, ridiculous, he calls it. So anyway, so why would those two comments, right? I mean, obviously, the, this asshole either read Grey Text's comment or this is Grey Text. Um, and again, it's just so petty. But, I, you know, I, I don't mind. I mean, this is the argument they're going to make. I'm just saying that I, I, if you think that's narcissistic, <laughs> you know, I'm almost laughing because, yes, I mean, I'm so much more vain and narcissistic than that. I mean, I like me, and I like, I mean, you know, obviously like everybody, I got, there's things that are, there's broken bits, <laughs> I got lousy teeth, um, you know, there's things I don't like, I don't like that I'm getting old, it's the way it is, but I'm just saying, why does it, why is it your concern, what turns me on, um, and especially in the context of the things that turn you idiots on, like bananas up your ass and shit. I mean, what does Grey Tex want? Some guy to fuck him like he's a woman? Or does he want to make lesbian love to a woman without his penis? Or, well, what is his, his game? I mean, I'm supposed to judge the game? <laughs> I mean, why, why is it any of your business how vain I am? And certainly it doesn't indicate that I'm a selfish person and that I would compromise other people's welfare for my uh, uh, gratification because I put a self-portrait on the wall. I mean, this is just such petty shit. And um, especially coming from somebody like Grey Tex, who, who, who I no doubt considers himself politically astute. And not to understand that this is just the, um, you know, the politics of personal destruction, as if this has something to do with real politics. And it's just the, the politics of um, we can destroy policy by destroying the person advocating for the policy. And we'll destroy them with nonsense, like you got a blow job. Um, and that's to him, way to go, good work. Democracy at its best. Don't argue the argument. Um, try to imply there's something wrong with the character of the person because they have a picture of themselves on the wall. <laughs> I mean, wow. You just can't get lower, can you? I mean, just of course you can, but it's pretty low. Um, so anyway. So anyway, so, so this is where you know, it gets a little interesting and complicated because I don't really want to. So, so I have this website, you know, and it is, um, you know, dodgy, <laughs> you know, in terms of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm naked a lot. It's, it's been dodgy moments, okay, so there has been stuff that's gotten, whoops, <laughs> um, and, um, and I've posted things, you know, like the, the best of images or kind of butt shots. Um, yeah, that's sort of a vanity of kind, of the narcissism, whatever you want to call it. It's okay with me. I, I'm just saying that, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not into men, but there's some male bodies that I find attractive um, artistically. I mean, powers always looks kind of interesting, you know, when you get the muscles and the stuff going. Um, there's an aesthetic to that. Uh, I'm the only model I have, frankly. <laughs> you know, the truth is, if, if, um, you know, if I had happened in life to find a life mate girl thing that was compatible and all that kind of shit and blah, 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 maybe there would be pictures of her everywhere, okay? I mean, there's, there's people who do that. There's artists who do that. I mean, all their art is just the chick and... You know, I certainly could have fallen into that pattern just as easily. Um, so, you know, I just don't know where to go with this, this, this thing that this is all somehow significant. It's not significant. Um, so anyway, but, you know, I just find it to be part of the reality. This is my reality. And it's sort of a, a thing happening to me personally. Because, yeah, I am getting 
uh, you know, I'm old. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I still have my hair and I still have some stuff. So this is the last there'll be, you know, until it, then it, all, it all really goes to hell. And so I still have it, so to speak. Um, and so there's a, there's a part of me that's saying, yes, well, this is, you know, might, might as well um, public domain it. Um, now, rather than, because it's not going to be around to be public domained later. <laughs> you know, so uh, there's not, it won't be worth it. It won't be worth the price of admission, which is free. Um, so anyway, uh, and, I, and then there's even a larger context. So anyway, so I have another separate website that has these other cameras and they're revealing other parts. Um, and I did find that that's kind of a slippery slope too because you're just kind of, well, once you've seen that, you might as well see this. And once you've seen that, you might as well see this. And once you've seen that, you might as well see this. I mean, it just doesn't, there's a point where it just doesn't matter anymore because you've sort of given it away. And, um, oh God, I get rid of this. I gotta either fix this chair or I gotta get rid of it. Um, the other chair was hurting my butt. So I'm doing three days on, three days off. Anyway. But yeah, this, obviously this wobbling thing is a little dangerous. So I gotta fix that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, so what do I wanna say about this? So, you know, it's, It's just going to generate a bunch of negative energy, likely. And so there's probably, a, it's of no value because people won't take it for what it is, which is just a kind of honesty, a kind of, um, this is what we are, we're, we're animals. And a, a part of me wants to just be the complete animal. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a puppet to this contrived description of what a human is. A human is a mammal. Mammals do things. Some of them are ugly. Some of them are beautiful, um, are cute, are funny, are erotic. Um, what I'm doing, uh, I'll try not to be ugly or disgusting. <laughs> okay, I don't need to be. Uh, we all know what that looks like. Probably. Um, two girls, one cup. Don't need to do that, really. Um, but I don't see anything... Since I'm not inhibited anymore by some fear, I have, and I have perceived no meaning to this part of being a human I'm an animal well yeah that means something because I'm an animal it means something in the context of a philosophy about what are humans potentiality what they are as consciousnesses as entertainment devices as entertainable devices and but the bigger more meaningful context the channel that's making these videos, the conversation is about what is um, the substance, the, the thinking thing is the more important part. The conversation should always be about what the mission is. And if you want to spend some time talking about feeding the psychology, that's fine. You want to spend some time saying, some kind of psychologies are detrimental to the service of mankind, that's fine. But until you demonstrate that there's something about my narcissism or my vanity that is in some way socially destructive or in some way socially damaging or in some way harmful to anyone, then make that argument. But to sit there and just imply I'm bad because I think I'm prettier than you. Shit, that's just goddamn stupid. Um, so anyway. So I haven't been directly linking to, you know, if people want to find this stuff, they can find it. 
it's just they have to go through some links <laughs> on the, and look for it. Uh, but I've had the art up for years, uh, you know. So this isn't my vanity, if that's what you want to call it, has been freely available for years. Um, there's lots of drawings of me and paintings of me because me was the subject I had available. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so what? Now, you, you want to say I'm an ugly model? Okay, go ahead and make that argument. I think it's a bullshit argument, but whatever, go ahead and make it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, don't I, I, I just, you know, like I said, the real point is, is that this is the crap you get from people, is crap. There's just, you know, part of me just saying, well, <laughs> you know, Gary, why do you, why do you provide room for people to comment? Because they really can't compose comments that could possibly mean anything. And they can't, so what's the, what's the point in a way? But you, you do want to offer this opportunity to interact, and you're just like, but these interactions will never be purposeful, because there's, um, you know, I don't know what to say. So anyway, so somebody did say, I don't think Gary actually drew that picture. I think it's one of those pencil effects you can do on basically any photo editor. Well, no, it's actually a, a hand etched um, etching, <laughs> you know. And yeah, so somehow that should be kept in a drawer somewhere. Besides, who gives a fuck? What I really want to know is, out of all the nudies of Gary on the best of section, why are there no pictures? But anyway, like I said, there's plenty of pictures. There's plenty of things. And it doesn't... Um, the fact that I have art on, you know, the website, um, yeah, obviously it just doesn't have, you know, the Do Not God website. Anyway, it, it just doesn't have anything to do with anything. It's just, it's just part of this is who I am as a person, okay? I don't just, I'm just not this. I'm this, 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 and this. I'm this. I do have this other aspects of my existence. And the fact that I'm saying, go ahead, peruse if you choose, um... isn't a crime. I mean, there's nothing overtly offensive or evil in that. It's not taking from anybody else. And I don't have any... Nice. I'm not have, I have putting no expect. I'm not taking for it. I'm not charging for it. I'm not... There's just really no right for consumer complaints. It's free, fuckers. <laughs> you know, nobody... I don't owe you any guarantee of your pleasure or satisfaction. It just isn't part of this deal. Um, but again, the argument is, is you know, where do you draw these lines between these different identities or roles that I play? And um, because you know, I'd like to be able to have a, a channel devoted to anxiety disorders and dealing with a, a social infrastructure that, you know, treats you like shit. <laughs> you know, that, I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, you say, look, I have an, an anxiety disorder that prevents me from traveling. I haven't been more than two miles from this house in 25 years. And yet, places will say, well, can you have somebody drive you here? Hospitals will say things like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just, you know, you're just, <laughs> why don't you just pretend it doesn't exist? Okay, fine, go ahead. Pretend it doesn't, the condition doesn't exist. Pretend I've enjoyed not going anywhere for 25 years. Yes, it's just a fake condition. That's why, you know, I mean, I can't go through all the, I never saw any of my sisters married, never saw, any, you know, tons of events I wasn't there for. I couldn't share or enjoy tragic ones also, ones you'd really want to be there. I'm just saying, you know, huge restrictions in terms of my life. And yet, it's just ignored. Like, you didn't say it.
<laughs> like, oh yeah, I never thought of that. Somebody else could drive me. Uh, oh yeah, I never thought of that. Thanks. I mean, it really is fun. And these are professionals. So, I mean, this is the kind of crap you get from the professionals. You're just like... Whew. They're actually at an agoraphobia clinic, you know, which is the specific disorder of, you know, not being able to go out and that you had to go to. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, you know, it, it was like for the people who don't, you know, just have a little bit of agoraphobia. Oh, okay, yeah, then, then you can go. But if you're really sick, fuck you. And well, that's how the system works. So it'd be nice to be able to talk about all that kind of shit. But you can't, because the trolls. The trolls will just keep forcing you to defend everything you've done in your life and every decision you've made and every aspect of your therapy, what drugs you were on, what drugs you stopped taking, what you did, how you did. And it's just, who, 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 what rational person would put up with that crap from shitheads who won't let me pick at their lives? Who are, who don't have the courage, don't have the courage to out themselves and display any of their, um, um, to demonstrate who they are, and, and uh, you know, that's just, this, like I'm just saying, it's just too bad that's the world that we have, and it's too bad that everybody is so tolerant of it, just as everybody is tolerant of having a presidential system or a two-party system that gives us such horrible candidates, and it's like there seems to be no, there should be a, a march on democracy. Uh, a march on Washington. I know that's been done. Um, to demand better than this. And the fact that this internet community doesn't demand better from the conduct of commenters is just too bad. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, yeah, it just does create an environment where you just can't. Uh, you pay a price for it, like I said. And, and, you, and then the real lunatics will really get into your personal life. You know, they start, you know, like I had this real life experience. They'll email the mayor of your town, lie about you, <laughs> try to cause trouble, and then put you in a position, you know, where you have to defend yourself to people that are getting harassed because of you. And, you know, obviously that's a terrible position to put somebody in. Um, especially somebody who's guilty of nothing and done nothing wrong, but it just makes you, by implication, seem like trouble because you're causing trouble because you have people who will cause them trouble. And there's just no way to win in that environment. There's no, the only way to win is not to play. And I think that's, um, I, I, I think, you know, I think it would be, I think it's fortunate that there are people who don't um, let that fear stop them and will, um, you know, well, like I said, it's just, it's, there's, it's, there's fewer and fewer of those people, frankly. I mean, there's a lot of people who on YouTube have disappeared, and I think a lot of those people disappeared because they couldn't stand the harassments. Um, but anyway, so it's just a junk video. Um, I'll label it as such. Um, try to add some sort of keyword to, <laughs> you know, indicate a, it's just about, um, you know, I, I just don't, there's not much I can say. You, you know, there's a point where you just say, oh, God, I just turn comments off. You know, just fuck it. Because I, I, you know, what, what am I, I'm going to waste my time defending myself to trolls. I mean, it's just, there's no point. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, and I'll just make my point that people shouldn't have babies on welfare. Now, somebody wants to say I'm a hypocrite because somehow I had a baby on welfare. Well, that didn't happen, so I'm not a hypocrite. Shit. And... 
I never got welfare anyway. It's not the right word to use. There's different systems for different problems. So, But regardless, it just doesn't matter. Um, it's just really disgusting to have to get into that personal crap because I make an argument defending a philosophical position with these trolls. Yeah. And you see it on every, like I said, even the physics videos. It's just all this crap about my credibility. They don't counter-argue the physics. They just keep arguing how I'm not qualified to have an opinion. I'm not qual and I haven't somehow qualified my opinion with an argument. And of course I have qualified my opinion by making arguments, explaining. I show Feynman making his statements, and I point out how that's an inaccurate statement. I demonstrate how it's inaccurate. I'm, I'm fulfilling my obligation. I'm pointing out, I say, look, gravitational lensing is weak, the evidence for it. I point out how it's weak. I explain to you that Hubble telescopes don't, there, there's, no, there's no light diffraction. So Hubble telescope doesn't need there to be an eclipse for it to see right next to the sun. When the Hubble telescope looks at the sun, there's no diffracted light in the atmosphere. Telescopes, when they look out to the sky, they can't see the stars because there's a bunch of diffracted light from the sun. The sun doesn't laser beam to one place and then a telescope can look somewhere else. No, the light gets diffracted in the atmosphere and the light comes down from all directions in the atmosphere. And so the telescope is blind. But it doesn't happen in space. It doesn't happen to the Hubble telescope. So the Einstein lensing experiment can be conducted every day. They could find a star and try to see if they can have it, the light lens around the sun. They could find the perfect star. They don't need to wait for an eclipse. They don't need to have a certain thing. They can pick their own every single day. They could pick a different thing to see if they can get, uh, detect gravitational lensing. Why hasn't that been detected? truth is, it doesn't exist. And Einstein's lensing experiment's never been repeated success, success, successfully outside the margin of error. <laughs> They've tried twice to repeat the, you know, whatever it is, 1918 experiment, and they both times they failed dismally. That's my fault. And then all the other images of lensing are a far away, you know, not the star, not the sun lensing, some other galaxy lensing some other galaxy, and they're horridly impossible images to rationally make sense out of, because the lensing is in the wrong place. The lensing is where the gravity is weak, not strong. They're completely <laughs> the antithesis of a rational interpretation of the physics. I, now I've demonstrated. I can all I can make is the argument and say, "I'm sorry, it's that's the truth." But that's the truth. And physicists who say gravitational lensing is a fact, they haven't proved it with evidence. Good evidence. They've proved it with nonsense. Like, well, it's the dark matter. Yeah, you know, so there's a bunch of dark matter making the lens, so you don't see the lens because it's dark matter. You know, it's stuff that doesn't exist. Well, yeah, it, does, it has gravity when we want it to bend the light from the sun, and then it doesn't have any gravity <laughs> because it's not moving any of the stuff around it. It's popping in and out of existence. It's dark matter, and it pops out of existence most of the time, and it shows up to lens now and then. Oh, okay. I mean, it's really bad. And these people will point their finger at me and say, I'm not a physicist, I'm not a this, I'm not a that. Well, what I'm not is a fucking liar or an idiot. And I'm telling you, the evidence is solid. Single slit diffraction is a reality. And there's no Huygens crap. Alright? I mean, they can keep arguing their bullshit. The two waves are interfering with each other. There's single slit diffraction. There's no two waves, retard. Now, you can come up with some silly 
Huygens mathematical bullshit and put a invisible fake barrier in the middle and do your math and then do your two waves but you synthetically made them out of absolute bullshit you completely contrived a fake barrier to make two waves so you could explain single slit diffraction it's a lie a preposterous nonsensical canard it's just a pile of shit is that my fault? Yeah. Just the messenger, Joe. I'm just delivering <laughs> a little logical analysis. You don't like it? Argue the logic. Don't attack me, fucker. Especially don't attack me with lies I have to waste my time defending myself against. You liar and scum. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just so rude. I mean, you know, just to say, you know, just like this thing where this guy says, you know, why did you draw a picture of yourself? I mean, why did you make a statement not knowing the facts? Why do you have the right to draw all these conclusions? How do you know I drew it when I didn't? But how did you know I did? Even though I didn't. Scum. <sighs> Alright, so I think I've covered it. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a big face video. I should have stretched it out further. Should have stayed further away from the camera. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So, till next time. There's just no way to. I just wish there was a way. I could be separate identities. I could be this person over here. I could be this person over here, I could be this person over there, and you fuckers wouldn't drag each one into each other. <laughs>